now that you've reached the ripe old age of 22, uh, do you think that you're going to embark on a new career as a movie star? Um, it's difficult to say. I've been modeling for a long time. I would like to try something new. I've made one film, which I'm not too happy about, and that, if nothing else, I'd like to do better. We're working on quite a number of little sidelines here, such as uh, new cosmetics. Uh, how much of this is really you, and how much are you really trying to express, and how much are you being used? Uh, um, I think I wanted to bring out a cosmetic range, mainly with starting with hair, because when you're modeling, your hair is used so much and has such a tough time. And so we brought out this range. And it, makeup's interest to me. It's my business. It gives me a chance to travel. And I meet people. I go around the stores, you know. And this will take up a certain amount of my time each year. And I think it's interesting and healthy. <laughs> well, do you think that there's a place for a 23-year-old fashion model? Um, yeah. <laughs> You're getting along in years, in other words. <laughs> I'm not that young, I suppose, yeah. Um, let me ask you, uh, what do you think is going to happen to fashions now? Uh, the miniskirt has gone up and the tops are coming down. Do you think they're ever going to meet? I should think so. I hope not. I think fashion just changes back and forth all the time. I think, I think the skirts may drop in the winter, even to mid-calf, or at least I think There'll be long coats and mini skirts underneath. I've got a long Zivago coat, which I had in London last year. I think simply because fashion wants to change, so fashion changes. People want to change, so it has to, can't go up anymore, so it will go down, I suppose. I don't care which way, really. <laughs> in other words, uh, to you, it's immaterial whether it's knee length or mid thigh. I think I'd probably wear what's fairly fashionable because one's eye gets used to seeing it in the magazines and wearing it. And People who I'm sure said they never wear mini skirts have come round to wearing them. I like mini skirts. I think they suit me. If the hem drops, I'll probably drop with it, but I don't pay much. But you know, it doesn't bother me one way or the other. Well, how do you feel about the new fashion axis being somewhere between Liverpool and London? I, it's different. So it's, I think it's interesting. I think um, in England, clothes are very extreme, so are the men's clothes. Um, I quite like to watch it. I don't sort of participate in it very much. They, all the pops, they look so colourful and funny. It's in, I love it, isn't it? What about your mod alter ego, Twiggy? What do you think of her? I think she's very sweet, you know. I think her, she's a sweet little girl. I mean, I, I've never met her, so it's very hard for me to say. Do you think she's really a fashion model? I think she's quite a good model, if only because she has a complete style of her own. I think anyone who's totally original is good. I think. To be successful in modeling, you've got to start a new look. Well, she certainly started a new look. <laughs> Do you think that new look is going to catch on? It's going to uh, continue in its present fashion? I think it'll catch on with the teenagers and that. I think it's very hard to duplicate it because I think not many people are thin enough. I mean, it's very difficult for it to catch on entirely because it's very hard to copy. I think there will be a lot of children and young, you know, younger teenagers. It's easier for them. Perhaps when they start to develop, it's more difficult. <laughs> As a fashion model yourself, uh, could you reveal how long it takes you to apply your makeup in the morning? Well, when I work, I wear more makeup when I'm actually working. It probably takes me sort of half an hour, three quarters. Perhaps I'm not working, I wear.